Brenda was a young woman who was invited to go rock climbing. Although she was scared to death, she went with her group to a tremendous granite cliff. In spite of her fear, she put on the gear and took hold of the rope and started up the face of that rock. Well, she got to a ledge where she could take a breather and as she was hanging there, the safety rope snapped against Brenda's eye and knocked out her contact lens. Well, there she is on a rock ledge with hundreds of feet below her and hundreds of feet above her. And of course she looked and looked and looked, hoping it had landed on the ledge, but it just wasn't there. Here she was far from home, her sight now bleary, and she was desperate and began to get upset, so she prayed to the Lord to help her find it. When she got to the top, a friend examined her eye and her clothing for the lens, but there was no contact lens. She sat down despondent with the rest of the party, waiting for the rest of them to make it up the face of the cliff. She looked out across the range after range of mountains, thinking that the Bible verse that says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. And she thought, Lord, you can see all these mountains. You know every stone, every leaf. You know exactly where my contact lens is. Please help me. Finally, they walked down the trail to the bottom. And at the bottom, there was a new party of climbers just starting up the face of the cliff. One of them shouted, Hey, you guys, anybody lost a contact lens? Well, that would be startling enough, but you know why the climber saw it? An ant was moving slowly across the face of the rock, carrying the lens. Now, Brenda told me that her father is a cartoonist. And when she told him the incredible story of the ant, the prayer and the contact lens, he drew a picture of the ant lugging that contact lens with the words, Lord, I don't know why you want me to carry this thing. I can't eat it and it's awfully heavy. But if you want, if this is what you want me to do, I'll carry it for you. I think it probably would do all of us some good to occasionally say, God, <laughs> I don't know why you want me to carry this load. I can see no good in it at all, and it's awfully heavy, but if you want me to carry it, I will. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Amen.